This morning we have Madeline Buckley joining us. She is the senior editor of Toy Insider here and she's going to tell us the best toys to get our kids away from the screens. We're talking about screen free learning time here. Madeline, good to see you. Thanks for being back with us. Thank you for having me. And yes, just like you said, we're going to be talking through some toys that are going to encourage kids not only to kind of step away from the screens for a bit, have a really good time playing, but also learn something while they play, which I think is the like, nice little trifecta there. We're going to start with this great National Geographic Ultimate Rock, Mineral, and Fossil Kit. So this comes with more than 200 different minerals and other rocks and specimens. There's this whole bag of them here. I have this beautiful polished red jasper here. It has a magnifying glass so that kids can explore the pieces closer. It has a guide that helps them identify every piece, even a little display case. What I love is that this is very self-guided. Kids are able mm -hmm. to sort through the rocks. It's very tangible, very hands-on, and that sense of accomplishment and discovery. And I just absolutely love it. It's a simple premise, but so many hours of play and exploration. And everything you need right there in the kit. Everything you need, absolutely. And because of that included guide for identification, again, don't even need the internet. You've got it right there in the box. Perfect. So then going a little bit younger to our early learners, ages three and up, we have Bugzel, which is a combination of bug and puzzle. It is a super, super adorable kind of my first brain teaser situation. And kids will get these little challenge cards that show them the colors that they need to fill the bug with. So this is kind of introducing those ideas of geometry and fractions, but on a very basic level. Mm -hmm. So here I'm going to finish the puzzle by putting in a little piece of blue and a little piece of green. And of course, there's different challenge levels so that kids start with bugs. They'll just have to fill it with orange and then it gets a little bit more complicated as they go. So it's really getting those brains going, but it obviously also couldn't be cuter. <laughs> And that one's great because it sort of grows with them as well. Absolutely, absolutely. Because of that increasing challenge level, it's, right. it's great as they continue to learn and understand these concepts a little bit more. So switching from those math basics into language basics, here we have our sentence building dominoes. The premise is simple. It's about what you'd expect, but it is such a great educational tool. You have all of these beautiful, colorful, sturdy dominoes, each that has a double-sided two different words, and they're all color-coordinated to be different parts of speech. So as kids use these dominoes, they can create sentences and stories and poems and tell people about their day and really kind of craft sentences and learn about how adjectives and verbs and nouns come together with punctuation and kind of learn those building blocks of language in a very tangible, literal way. Good, I like that one. We want yes. to get to the last two before we run out of time. Oh, of course, of course. Okay, and we love when we can turn learning into a game. This is a simple premise, but really fantastic for practicing vocabulary. It's called slam words. You have three dice in here, you shake it up, slam it down, and whatever three letters are facing up, you have to come up with a word that includes those three letters. So I have B-A-T, so bat or tabs. And if you can't think of a word, you're out of the game. If you do, you pass it on to the next player. It's only one piece, but it's also super for affordable and portable. Great for travel. Yeah. And finally, oh, wow. For our older kids who are really into those building kits, we have the Connects Education uh, STEM Exploration Set. So this one is all about levers and pulleys. You're gonna use the individual building pieces to put together something like this. This is about balance. So as you can see, there's three pieces on this side, two on this. So you could have uh, add and subtract to learn about different types of pulleys and levers, really getting into that STEM and engineering basics for our slightly older kids ages eight and up. All right, Madeline, great stuff. All great ways to get the kids off the screens, having fun, and still learning. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you for having me.